good news, I have recovered the stress ball. <laughs> what is going on, you guys? My name is Morgan, and welcome back to another Harley Quinn reaction video. So while I was cleaning my room this week, I recovered the iconic stress ball that the nice lady at Starbucks gave to me when I quit my job at Lowe's. So I think it's this is perfect timing that we found it at this point because it's probably be a stressful episode with all these zombie apocalypse things happening. Also, big thanks to you that pointed out all the stuff I missed in the last episode and all the references that were in there. A lot of the stuff I haven't seen in the first place, so there's no way I'm going to catch all of these little Easter eggs in the show because... I'm just not going to. I have the memory of a goldfish. And then I was going to record yesterday, but then the Queen of England died, which I mean, I'm not- obviously I'm not English, but... That kind of like- I don't know why it stunned me. I was like whoa you know like I, I didn't know how to process it so I was kind of in a funk yesterday just like again I don't know why so we're doing this a day after it came out um, but a lot of people said it was this was a really good episode so I guess we will be seeing if that is the case if it's anything like last episode I'm sure it'll be a doozy Ooh, that is quite an interesting thumbnail uh oh so this one is called climax at the Jaza Pol the Jaza Palooza? I think that's how you say it. Usually if you would hear climax in terms of shows and movies, you would think like, oh, the big scene where everything happens. But this show, because we had an episode with the word orgy in it, it's automatically me automatically making me think something else. Oh boy. Um well, I guess we'll get into that. Before we get into the video, guys, if you want the full reaction video with the full episode, it is available on my Patreon, as well as other things. And if you want to follow me on social media, you could do so here, keep up with content I make, things like that. Also, I just renewed my P.O. Box, so if you want to send me something, feel free to do so here. That's my P.O. Box address. Speaking of P.O. Boxes, I'm going to be hanging up things people have sent me. This is my little designated wall for now. If I get more things, I will expand to another wall but the background's also going to be changing because as you could tell i've taken things down <laughs> so the background's going to change so i think i've talked enough let's get into this please he broke up with her jesus he's never gonna say that he loves you dude oh poor dick Caleb is murdered father who may have played a small part in this oh wow is your next role sherlock fucking home <laughs> <laughs> he's been that was a good one dumps. i'd love for you all to meet this is going to be horrifying. Okay. So, they're plant people now? Is what you're telling me. You must be telling me they're plant people now. Because ain't no way they still had flesh on their fucking skeletons. Ain't no way. After 30 fucking years, absolutely not. You could not tell. I don't care if this is a cartoon. Absolutely no fucking way. Just. Oh, whatever. Whatever. Yeah, do you believe them now? I'm positive. I'll turn my zombie parents back into my beloved very much alive. What is dripping from their mouths? Parents. Oh, I gotta get him on the pod. Let's get you down <laughs> to the lab. Not humans. Billionaire bitch boy obviously altered. Billionaire <laughs> bitch boy. <laughs> Billionaire bitch boy. Ivy coming in hot with the insults. <laughs> what Bruce did goes. Free us so yeah. we can figure out how it's to stop it. It's the whole town. Oh, nards. Yeah. You untie them. Ah, my wrists can breathe. Thank you, Barbara, for being the reasonable one. Five, ten, maybe twenty football fields worth? Oh my god. That's a lot. I'm not in this crew. They basically tricked me. So leave me out of whatever justice you bring in them, alright? <laughs> Psycho always looking out for number one. Oh, oh there's god. Frank. Why is this episode so funny so far? Friends, yeah. So they don't burn, they put fire out? That walking definition of white privilege planted me. Oh my god, I want to make so many comments, but I 
I don't want to start a war zone in my comments either about the walking definition of white privilege. <laughs> oh, give me strength. Seko, are you trying to tell us that someone vomited on you? What? No. Like I said, Definitely. I backman the nays on your Oh my god. We figure out how to reverse this before people we actually care about are turned into that. <laughs> it's a shaded psycho. People we actually care about. Not psycho. People we actually care about. The shade at psycho. I was thinking that last time. Like, it's crazy how, like, close everyone is after everything psycho did in season two. Like, are we just forgiving all this? But I guess not because Harley still got the shade <laughs> and I'm here for it. Because I don't like people getting off too easily um, when they've done some shitty shit and then everything's just back to normal. I hate that whole, like, trope. <laughs> He's not even phased. He's not even phased. Well, I suppose when you grow up in a family of assassins, when when Raza Ghoul was part of your bloodline, and you were trained to the League of Shadows, I'm yeah, I'm I'm not surprised I didn't face him. Actually, thinking on it now. Jazz Fest got canceled three years ago, so they rebranded it to a three-day event. And you know what? I love jazz. Okay. Wait, wasn't Jazz Fest what? Ivy was excited about in season one. It's been three years since then. Am I tripping? Am I remembering that wrong? Because I could have sworn when uh, Wonder Woman had the lasso of truth around Ivy, she was like, I was really excited for Jazz Fest or whatever. So, like, was that three years ago? I didn't think there was that much of a time jump. Saying that every dead person in Gotham may have been brought back to life is possible. Uh -huh. Well, if you'll excuse That's me. millions and millions and millions of people. I mean, oh, he's gonna DNA with the plant. So there's reason Let it go, Morgan. Let it go. To the green. Maybe if I just go in there, I can find a way to control them. No, no, no way. That sounds dangerous. Almost... I've got this peanut. Who knew confidence was I love Okay, while I'm I love when she calls Harley Peanut. It's so freaking cute. I love pet names. All them off. And you're delegating? Oh, I'm gonna need to change my shorts. <laughs> <laughs> They're so cute. The first thing Frank does is smoke a blunt. I forgot to say earlier how much I missed Frank. Just having Frank in these episodes now, from now on, is gonna make so much more of a difference. I've missed his sarcastic ass comebacks. What? What's this back cave you speak of? Yeah. She knows. Um, scary. <laughs> oh, that's right. The the macaroni. Remember, I was gonna say, what is Dick driving? We got this, Ive. <laughs> she just has a picture. That's so cute. If these zombies stop me from seeing a jazz legend go off on his flugelhorn, I'll lose my shit. <laughs> uh oh. I'm surprised the you windows have held them that long. Baby. Ivy, focus! I'm here for you. You know what? I appreciate the support on that. Thank you. I can feel Aww. the conflict inside. I'm sorry, what are you talking about? The conflict of who the real you is. Good versus evil. Even a plan that was ruined by a selfish billionaire? Um, I mean, in the last episode, Harley was saying how much she thought being a hero was actually cool when she thought it was, like, a stupid the whole time. And so that makes sense that, uh... Like, if Ivy wants to be a hero and Harley decides to, you know, turn a leaf and be heroic and help, you know, fix this whole issue and maybe work with the Bat family in the future, maybe that would be pretty cool. I don't know. Like, I'm not saying I don't like Harley and Ivy as villains. Well, I mean, they haven't really done anything that evil this season, but I'm just saying, you know. Oh my god, she actually did it! Good for you, Ivy. I also like the callback. She has a similar um, getup as she did in season one when she came when she was revived by the plants. Even though I'm pretty sure she was wearing like she was wearing black then. It's pretty much the same outfit but greenish, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh shit! Oh, that's a lot. You can count on me. He's like anything to get out of these things. Right. Oh, he was just going to the bathroom. I thought they just shit in the water. Don't believe in killing. Gwyneth Paltrow and she's like eating a baby. Gwyneth Paltrow! Like a massive asshole. Not even massive, but whole. Uh, same 
same butthole is so much worse. It paints a gross picture. <laughs> <laughs> it does. I understand Bruce Wayne doesn't believe in guns. Like, Batman doesn't believe in guns. But you need some form of destruction for when there is a zombie apocalypse and the people have already been dead and they are just zombies. Like, they've died once, you can kill them again. <laughs> is that insensitive? Nah. Found this energy, this power, and I- Also, Ivy looking fine. <laughs> My gay ass is simping. <laughs> also, I realized I can pull off a kitten heel. Okay. Yes, queen. Also, I didn't like the music that was playing in the background. It sounded like Ivy turned pure ass evil. Did that happen? I hope not. But how about this? Uh, 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 <laughs> All right, let's stop the rest. <laughs> no. This is still my plan. It's not exactly how I saw it going, but they're out creating Eden with their vomit. I can oh, make man. the city exactly as I envisioned it. That's not what you told her. The same the time. B. Check with her first. Oh, she's gonna understand. She wants this as much no. as I do. No, but she went through changes. Uh, she changed her mind and Bruce's mind, but she didn't have the chance to tell you that. God damn it, why is everything in this season so fucking complicated with people just not talking to each other? Ivy, you should still bring it up to her because things change. This season's put me through the five stages of grief, I swear to fucking God. Leave it up to King Shark to be giggling during a zombie Ivy. apocalypse. Zombies, but they won't be much longer. This looks, but I'm not great. King Shark is like, I was gone for a single evening, and shit has hit the fucking fan. <laughs> Poor guy. I just wait. There are more undead than just my parents. Oh yeah. Look, yeah. it takes time to process these things. Although, then your parents. Yes, King like Shark. Is thirty years a while? Oh, okay. I was right. It was thirty it years. Like you should be much further along in this. I mean, you obsessed about the past and missing out on the present. Cause you need therapy. I think your dad just ate your cat, and that cat looked expensive. Money is but a concept to Bruce. <laughs> Shit is getting wild. Oh, we're. I just realized we're gonna have some Harley and Ivy conflict, and it's gonna hurt. <sighs> I thought. If I just invested in fictional characters' relationships, I wouldn't have to deal with the drama of an actual relationship. But little little did I realize I'm gonna have to come along for all of their fights and arguments and just sad times. You get him, dick. You get him, Nightwing. Not the way you envision it, but kind of true. Plant clean, sure. How many of these do we need? All of them. <gasps> Harley, what's going on? It's, uh, it's like they found a purpose. Yeah. Ooh. <gasps> They're destroying everything. Wait. Not everything. Mama macaronis? Oh, that's right, because Ivy said she wasn't going to destroy Mama Macaroni's, and Harley, Harley knows she wanted to go to Jazz Fest all those years ago. Oh, she's putting the pieces together! Ivy? Oh, we got Joker again. Hello, Joker. <laughs> then some crazy clown went a bit extreme and got Jazz a canceled. That was you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least he's owning it. This is too chill for the zombie apocalypse happening. Happening. The casual, soothing jazz in the background. Only to lose that interest, letting us die. <laughs> She's on her soapbox. It's time for us to spit back. Literally. How have they managed this long, not getting you know zombified? Well, that's one way of doing it. Good job, Batgirl. Killing it as always. Oh no. Get somewhere safe, Bat. I love this. I love Harley working with the, the Bat family. It's great. Oh. There goes the, the craft. Oh no. But Harley should be safe. What happened to the no killing things? Sometimes we're forced to make exceptions. 
<sighs> All right, let's do this. The zombies were an exception, but Ivy is. Oh, this is stressing. Oh, this is stressing me out. I'm glad I got the ball back. Hey, hey, she's good. She's with me. <laughs> Come on, Harley, please. I just have never felt better about myself than I do right now. I mean, Harley, we're doing it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And what exactly is it? Our plan. Look, we're turning Gotham into Eden. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if this was like totally what the plan was. I, no, I mean, it's not exactly what we talked about. Bruce fucked that up. But then I realized I can solve He did. Harls, you, you. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, don't you see? You, no matter what, believed in me. Under any other context, this would be so fucking sweet. <sighs> this is putting me through an emotional paper shredder. Oh my god, it's gonna hurt. The moment she says something, it's gonna hurt. And finally showed me how to believe in myself. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me on every level. I love you so Stop. much. Stop! And after this, everything will be perfect. I am so happy you found that confidence I always knew was inside of you. It makes me happier than anything. But this... This is wrong. It is not what we talked about. Yes. What? what do you mean? Like, you gotta tell her. Eden. This is our plan. Our dream. Innocent people are dying. That was not part of the plan. This is what I want. I'm sorry that you can't get on board, but I'm following through. Something I always thought that you wanted me to do. <sighs> I know I should be talking about this, but like, I don't even know what to say at this point. I'm just going to go back real quick, because that was a lot to take in. And my small goldfish brain couldn't comprehend all of it. Something I always thought that you wanted me to do. Hardly wanted you to follow through on your dreams, but she didn't want innocent people dying. Maybe she didn't fully understand that until she watched Bruce's parents get murdered inside his like his memories maybe she didn't fully understand the impact of innocent people being murdered what it does to other people and how the world is just bigger than yourself i don't know i could be interpreting this completely wrong but oh this i don't want this harley and ivy angst i don't like this whole season i've wanted nothing more than for ivy to be happy with herself and to love herself and to trust to let Harley in and trust her with her emotions and to, like, just love herself. And now that she has that, it's the worst possible time. And this might be your Eden, but it's not mine. <laughs> oh, she got herself corrupted by the... Th she's gonna turn herself into a plant zombie so that Ivy has to shut it down. She has to choose between Ivy and Eden. Oh my god, I was not expecting that fucking twist. You sacrifice yourself for me? I can finally forgive you and move on! For she didn't do it for that, but okay. Harley! With an excruciating emptiness. Oof, sounds like a tough couple of weeks. I'm glad Bruce is finally talking sure about it. Has... Wait! You don't have to. No. I do. He's gonna kill his zombified parents? I spent the last 30 years mourning the loss of my parents, and I'll spend the next 30 grieving their second death at my hands. Are you sure? That's so sad. I'll do it for you. Seriously? He will do it I for you. I really me. appreciate that. Uh, you're gonna wanna look away. Yeah. Cover your ears. Yeah, it, it, I don't think it's gonna have anything to do with the shovel. He's probably just gonna bite him. I can't change you back without... without undoing everything. Oh, that was the point. God, I, w I was hoping that was how it, it worked. <laughs> Damn, that was it? No antidote or nothing. Are you okay? Good. Oh, that was such a heartwarming moment. And of course, after all of that, the fucking screen recording got corrupted. Why can't I catch a break today? That ending bit was so... I, I don't know. I don't want... I don't know if I want to say rushed or if it was sweet. I'm not really sure because, like, Ivy said this is the thing she wanted most out of life. But the moment 
hardly got, you know, zombified or was getting zombified or whatever, she just immediately changed her mind. I thought there would be more, like, internal conflict. Like, I understand she loves Harley. There's no doubt in my mind she loves Harley. Um, but I thought there would be more, like, internal conflict with her trying to understand what she wanted more or, like, if she could find a way to save Harley but keep her Garden of Eden thing alive. Like, that just seemed... I don't know, that seemed off to me, that that ending. Like, I'm glad, don't get me wrong, I'm glad she saved Harley. And it's clear, like, Harley means more than anything to her because she was willing, willing to give the Garden of Eden plan just over with literally zero thought. But it, I don't know, that just seemed weird. But that, that plot twist of Harley sacrificing herself, making her choose, she knew that was the only way to get through to Ivy and to save everyone was to sacrifice herself so that heart that blah, 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 so that ivy had to choose between harley and her dream of the garden of eden that was just that was a huge plot twist i, I wasn't expecting this episode to go that way i yeah it, oof, that was that was nuts um i'm not even really gonna do a recap because i feel like my brain's just out of it right now and i'll probably just fuck it up because i was a lot to take in but i i vocalized as best i could um all of that so that was that was insane but thank you guys so much for watching remember to subscribe and as always i will see you in the next video peace <laughs>